We've all been there. You're walking down the street, going to your favorite ice cream shop, when BAM! You fall into quicksand. Within seconds, you've faded from sight, never to be seen again. Kidding. Of course, quicksand might be a vicious killer in the movies, but in real life, you wouldn't even sink all the way in. But that doesn't mean that quicksand isn't dangerous, or that you can't get stuck in it, because you totally can. But as long as you know a little bit about the strange physics of quicksand, you can probably wiggle yourself free. Quicksand is created by water seeping into sand from underground springs or standing pools. You'll often find it at the bottom of lake beds, swamps, marshes, near rivers, or on beaches at low tide. It's made up of about 30 to 70 percent water, which completely changes the way it behaves. So when you're walking through regular sand, like at the beach, your feet will sink in a little bit but then quickly stop. That's because normal sand is packed so tightly together that each sand grain is jammed into place. The friction and pressure created by this compaction, known as a force chain, creates a firm surface. In quicksand, instead of being crammed together, the sand grains are suspended, or loosely packed. They're basically floating around in the water. Water. The friction and pressure is reduced, and the sand can't handle the same weight load. And that is what makes quicksand a non-Newtonian fluid, which we've talked about before in our first video ever. Essentially, this is a fluid that doesn't act like your everyday run-of-the-mill Newtonian fluid. Water, for example. No matter how much force you apply to water, say by stirring it really fast, its viscosity, or the measure of how it flows, remains the same. If it got more viscous, it would be gooier, and if it became less viscous, it would be runnier. But if you apply a moderate force to quicksand, say by kicking your legs around, its viscosity does change. When quicksand is left alone for a while, the water fills in the gaps between each sand grain, and the two materials become evenly distributed in what's known as a colloidal gel. But it's a very delicate balance, like a house of cards with water filling the empty space. When stress and vibration are applied, say by a leg stepping on the quicksand, that house of cards collapses, and the sand liquefies, and your leg sinks. Then, and here's the weird part, the quicksand becomes more viscous. Once you fall in, the water, which is less dense, rises to the top, and the sand, which is more dense, falls to the bottom. As the water rises, it leaves a vacuum in the dense sand, which compacts around your leg, making it harder to move. So hard, in fact, that the force you'd need to suddenly remove your leg from that quicksand is the same force you'd need to lift a medium-sized car. You aren't gonna drown, but if there's no one nearby to help, you're still in trouble. So how do you get out of such a sticky situation? Well, at most, you'd only sink about halfway, because you are less dense than the sand. Humans have a density of around one gram per milliliter, whereas as quicksand has a density of around 2 grams per milliliter. So you wiggle your legs, just a little bit. That'll create some space between the sand and your legs, where the water can flow back in and mix with the sand, making it less viscous, and therefore loosening its grip on you. Keep doing this, and you can eventually free yourself from a quicksand pit, but it could take a long time, and if you're stuck on the beach when high tide comes in, that can be dangerous. That's why rescuers often use an injection pump that fires water into the pit, liquefying it quickly so that they can pull out the person and save them, and give them a really awesome story to tell their grandkids. Thanks for watching this SciShow Dose, which was brought to you by our patrons on Patreon. If you want to help support the show, you can go to patreon.com slash scishow. And if you want to keep getting smarter with us, just go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe. <laughs>